Hey, what's going on guys? Maxwell363. Today I'm going to show you how to root and tether your Samsung Galaxy S3 for Boost Mobile. This tutorial will only work for model number SPHL710. So I believe before the update it was SPH9300 or something like that. So if you have that number, you can still root and tether your phone, but this method will not work for you. So, if you don't know what tethering is because I always like to make my videos very noob friendly what it basically is, is instead of paying boost mobile an extra ten dollars a month you can simply use tether and all you have to simply do is tap a button and it will start tethering your phone I'm not connected to any devices so obviously it's not going to work but let's go ahead and run through this tutorial and I will show you guys what exactly you need. It's very easy, should only take maybe 10-15 minutes even for a beginner. Okay, so to start out, I would go ahead and take off the back of your phone so it just sits just like this. And have your USB cable ready. Just go ahead and plug it into your PC, don't plug it into your phone. And let's run. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to revert, keep going back and forth from screen recording and not screen recording so the volume will vary so don't turn your volume up very high when I'm screen recording because I have to use the crappy mic that's built in my laptop so once again if you have headphones on do not turn up the volume really high alright so now we are on our PC so let's go ahead and do click on the first link that I have in the description below it'll bring you guys to this page right here now, step number one is you need to download specific things. You can pretty much ignore the Samsung drivers. What happens is if you plug your phone into your PC, if it recognizes it, then you already have the drivers. So don't even worry about that. Now, this clockwork, the clockwork mod, you can ignore that. That will not work with this update that I was referring to. If you had the old one, this method would not work. You will need the Odin 3.04 and the root recovery from Zip. So now, if you scroll down just a little bit, there here will be the page for the downloads. The Clockwork Mod Recovery, once again, ignore that. Samsung drivers, ignore that unless you need them. You will need this Odin 3.04 and the Root from Recovery Zip. So these two files right here, you're going to need to download those. Also, what you will need to do is if you scroll all the way down to the bottom... you will come up with this all right and this guy right here wet biker 7 he's the one that uh basically modified the instructions so that it would work with this new update click on this link right here and now scroll down right here so where where you can see the o the odin packages right here this touch whiz right here the recovery mod file this is what you need right here so go ahead and click on this one right here not clockwork not clockwork mod but the TWRP recovery mod you will need those so those are everything that you will need I will put a link in the description for this page right here even though I shouldn't have to like I said it's just all the way on the bottom but I'll help you guys out and I will put that in the description below so now I will go ahead and cut this and I will show you guys the next step Okay, now that we have all of our necessary downloads, as you can see right here, I have placed them all on my desktop. You got the recovery file, you have the Team Epic root from recovery zip file, and then Odin 3 zip file. Go ahead and right click on here and hit extract so you can unzip that file onto your desktop. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and plug your phone into your PC. Go ahead and click on card, not on phone, on your on card. Double click. What we need to do is now is take this Team Epic Root from Recovery file, click and drag it so it says copy to root of storage. Go ahead and release it so it drags it and copies it onto your phone. Make sure it's on your phone. Here's my zip file right here, and we are finished with that section. Now what you want to go ahead and do is double click on this Odin file, and you want to run this as administrator. Once it's opened up, make sure it's recognizing your phone. If it is not, it'll look like this box right here. You want to make sure it's lit up blue and has these numbers in it. Your numbers may be different from mine. 
Very important, we want to uncheck auto reboot, make sure that reset time is checked. Here on PDA, go ahead and click on this recovery. And now what you want to go ahead and do is power off your phone and leave it plugged in. Okay, now you want to put your phone into download mode. How you do that is you are going to need to hit the power, the home, and volume down, not up, down. So let's go ahead and do that. Now if your phone already starts, then all you can do is just simply hit pull the battery out because remember, we already had the back off. Now all the screen's going to ask you is, it gives you all these warnings. Go ahead and click volume up. And now it'll bring you to this screen. This is what you want. Now I'm going to go back to the PC. Okay, so now that we have our phone in download mode, you, have, you should have that little Android guy that says downloading do not turn off target on your screen. Once again, make sure that your phone is recognized. If it's still a grayed out box, then obviously you have a driver's issue or you did something wrong. Once we're at this point, let's go ahead and click start. It'll take less than 10 seconds. It'll say recovery and then it'll go into pass, okay? So now once we are at pass, now at this point, this is where you want to unplug your phone. And then we go ahead and pull our battery out and we put our phone into recovery mode. And here's how you do that. Okay, now we are back to the phone. You're going to see this screen. I understand it says downloading, do not turn off target. We're going to go ahead and pop the battery so the phone's back off and put it back in. Now this time what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, home button, power button, but this time we're going to do volume up. And if I screw up, um, like I said, just un pull the battery back out. Okay, now this screen should show up, team win. Okay. Now the instructions that I just showed you, it'll be a little bit different because apparently this is an updated version. Now you can you don't need to use volume up and home button. Just hit install. And from your SD card, we're going to scroll down. And now we need to find that zip folder. So give me a minute. Okay, external. Okay. I don't know if this is going to show up or not. What it says right here, it says Team Epic Root from Recovery Zip. Now what you do is just touch it, and then I'll say swipe to confirm flash. And it should say successful right here. Once you're finished, go ahead and click reboot system. Once again, if you're following the instructions on the computer, it's going to be a little bit different. Now once this finally reboots, now the biggest thing that you you know if you follow all these steps you should have root no problem but always check your applications to make sure that you have super user if you do not have super user then something went wrong now wait till it's done upgrading your phone will look the same exact way you're not going to lose anything or anything along those lines so don't be concerned Okay. Super user. Okay. If you do not see super user, then your phone is not rooted. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in. No, can't. Okay. Um, so now your phone has root access, correct? Okay, awesome. 
Now you want to put tether on it, okay? If you don't know what tethering is, it just enables you to use your 3G, 4G signal for other devices that you may have. So now I'm going to run you through another link and show you guys where to, do where to download the Okay, so last step of this whole process to get free hotspot, aka Wi-Fi tether, is go ahead and click on the third link in the description below, and it'll bring you to this page, same page as I'm showing you guys right here. All you gotta do is click where it says use, click this, it'll bring you to a five second ad. Once that is finished, you go ahead and click where it says skip ad right here up at the top. It'll bring you to another page where you need to wait an additional 10 more seconds. And then another little download button will appear. Go ahead and click download. Save that file to your desktop. What it'll look like is this right here. It's a .apk file. With dot, what the file extension APK is, it's an Android um, application. So once we have that, go ahead and open up your phone once again. Click on card, and what you want to do with this APK file, click and drag it to the root of your storage, just like we did with the root to recovery, this Team Epic file. All right, and once we're finished with that, now I'm going to revert back to my phone and show you guys how to install it and change the settings around so you guys could have free hotspot. Okay, so now we are back to our phone, and in order to be able to install this Wi Fi tether um, mod, you go ahead and go to your app drawer. Go ahead and get to my files, all files, X EXTSD card. And there it is right here. Just tap it. I'm not going to go ahead and, but I mean, for you, you just go ahead, OK, and it will install it. Now, if you do not allow third-party applications on your phone, you're going to get an error screen. Just click OK, and there will be a little thing for you to hit a check mark on it. All you got to do is just put a check mark on it, and you'll be able to use third-party applications. They people just do that in case you download your APK files from the internet or off your phone. I've gone through tutorials on that from for shared, etc. Now go ahead and open it up. Now here's where things get a little bit different and I will show you guys the settings that worked for me personally. Okay, so this guy's the original author, he his settings didn't work for me. So I'm going to show you the ones that worked. You go ahead and hit your option button, go to settings. Now under change device profile, I have mine at Samsung Galaxy S3. For the method, put NETD dash NDC master. I changed that one. And max client, put a check mark right here. Wi Fi driver reload. Now, the original author has it to use number two. Didn't work. I used the first one. So, Wi Fi driver reload, I go ahead and put a check mark on the first one, not the second one some other options he put down is this clamping and routing fix I believe those are already check marked and everything else that's it so now if I go ahead and start tether you're gonna see it turn yellow so if I'm gonna try and open up my Wi-Fi settings now when the screen pops up go ahead and hit allow now I'm in my basement as you can see here I'm on 4G I don't know how okay now when you like I use mine with my iPad okay so what you do is your your Wi-Fi signal will show up as Android tether now what will happen is um, you will see the download and upload pop up and anytime someone connects to your device you'll see it pop up over here now the only thing that I did notice is when I tested out last night after about 10 15 minutes something like that it kicked me so I had to press 
to start it up again. If I find a fix for it, I will post it so you guys know a little update. But I hope you guys learned something. If you have any problems or questions, uh, feel free to join AndroidForums.com. Sign up for an account, and those guys are really, really helpful on there. You can try asking me. I don't know any other problem or, or uh, I'm sorry, solutions other than what I just showed you right now. But I will do my best or I can direct you to someone that can help you out. So thanks for checking out my video. Thank you guys a lot for sharing my videos. Do appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time.